I'm sure we're going to hear his voice and see his face. Yeah, hello. Take it um, away, Volker. Um, yesterday, uh, Alex and Nico showed you um, how you can uh, port to framework 6. Um, so you basically had slightly less than 24 hours to actually apply that. So uh, time to look at how much progress we have made. Um, before we get to that, um, quickly how all of this started. Um, three years ago, the last uh, in-person academy, uh, we set out to, to do the, the, the transition to, to Suite 6. Um, and one important decision there was um, that we want to keep the, uh, the time we spend in branching as short as possible. Um, because branching, um, <coughs> there's basically two options for this. Right? Either we split our workforce in two, uh, do five and six in parallel, um, which means um, we'll have a lot of cost in, in merging and stuff being getting done twice or getting lost and so on. So that's not ideal. Um, or we jump with everyone on the, on the six-based branch, and then that would probably take a month uh, until in, in which we are not able to deliver um, many updates to our users. Um, that's also not ideal. Uh, so instead, the idea was to do as much as possible in the Suite 5 based code bases, um, keep them in a releasable state, right? So not, not impact any of that, uh, and then do the branching as late as possible and as short as possible. Um, that also requires that larger changes that we can only do after branching uh, should be prepared um, uh, as well as possible so that we don't find. Um, to do PRKF6, we design this um, like six weeks before we want to release. Uh, um, another important part is the uh, leave no module behind idea. Um, so if we do larger changes in frameworks, um, significantly change or remove an API, for example, um, the idea is to adapt as many as possible uh, of the, the consumers of that uh, right away um, so that we don't Three years down the road, realize that there is a use case we missed, or um, <clears throat> something is isn't as easy and obvious to to transition as we originally saw. Um, I mean that is that is the reason why we still now have KD Libs for support users, right? And uh, so we wanted to avoid that right from the from the start. Um, so let's see where we are. Uh, and I was only half joking about the. Um, how recent uh, uh, changes are here. Um, the slides have some very last minute patches, but they're probably still outdated again. Um, so at this point, um, all non duplicated frameworks are building on Linux, FreeBSD, and Android, uh, and more than 50% are building on Windows as well. Uh, and especially the last number has been going up steadily uh, in the last couple of hours. Um, and by building, I not only mean uh, works on somebody's machine with some modifications. No, that is actual CI coverage. Um, and that also means with working unit tests. Um, the vast majority of unit tests produces the same results as with Suite 5 already. Um, there is still individual ones that, uh, that need to be sorted out. Um, beyond frameworks, we also have um, the uh, platform integration bits uh, of Plasma working, um, with the exception of the global debug menu stuff, which means um, you get uh, proper styling, proper file dialogues, etc. Um, looking at applications, if we have a widget application and you manage to get that to build, it is very likely to just um, uh, to just work, um, and not just the simple stuff. We have seen parts of contact with uh, Akunagi integration working. Um, you can use Kate already to to edit itself. Um, um, all of that works fine. QML is a bit more complicated. 
not so much because it, it requires uh, more complex changes, but because we can't, um, we can't if that there, um, but instead we have an, uh, a conversion script that you need to run and that does 80% of the, um, the changes. Uh, and then you're also able to get to something working there. Um, all of that, as I said, happened in the uh, Q5 phase. Uh, in the Q5 code bases um, during ongoing releases, um, there have been some minimal disruptions um, as is expected for this, right? This is uh, three years of uh, a large team effort. Um, but on the other hand, we also have discovered problems, uh, for example, by being able to already use the, the Spectre type checking in Q6 um, right now. So then let's actually look at stuff running. Okay, so Let's start with eight um, that I already mentioned. Um, I mean, the, the differences are so small that uh, the only thing I can actually show you to prove that it is uh, actually Q6 is the version number in the about dialog. Um, otherwise, it looks exactly the same. So let me try something else. Console. Uh, pretty much same thing here. It just works, it looks exactly the same, uh, but it is running on, on Q6. So let's some, try something QML based. Um, so this is uh, Kirigami Gallery. Um, it can show a version number, so you have to trust me that this is also running on Q6. It looks like the, the Qt5 version, it has all the correct styling um, and it, it just works. Um, let's do something slightly more complex and hybrid. Uh, that might be second try. Oh, another one, yep, there we go. Um, system settings, and again, this has a version number I can show you. Um, there we go. Uh, this is also running on Q6. Um, in fact, the entire shell you see here um, with all the usual Plasma stuff and the Quinn session it's running in is all running on Q6. Um, there's actually no Q5 left here. Um, so yeah, we have made quite some progress um, to, to manage the expectations a bit. Um, that is not the out of box uh, experience, right? That requires still some, some local modifications running the QML conversion script and so on um, to get there. Uh, but nevertheless, it is much further ahead than we were, be uh, I mean, prior to branching already uh, compared to what we had in, in past major version transitions. There's still a few things left uh, to do before we can branch. Um, that list is also rapidly shrinking. Um, a couple of days of the right people, and I think we, we can get that uh, sorted out, which brings us to the, um, uh, the interesting questions on how to proceed, um, when and how to branch, um, what to branch. So what is the, the scope of the first six phase release? Is that just frameworks, which is the easiest to achieve, but relatively useless, or frameworks and Plasma or parts of Plasma? Uh, so that needs to be discussed. We have a prof for that um, tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. And that is not just for framework developers, that is explicitly for all the framework consumers because this, are, this is about decisions um, that affect all of us, right? And as we want to keep the branch lifetime as short as possible, that means that the uh, time window for getting larger changes done is rapidly closing. So if you still have stuff that, that you want to see done, uh, that is probably also something worth discussing. So yeah, see you tomorrow at the prof and let's start, uh, let's sort all of this out.
Thank you, Volker.